Uh, we think the high-speed rail dollars will be better spent on our local streets and roads and on our state highways on that which I think will eventually be a failed and costly project. Senator Stone, sir, for what purpose? Thank you, Madam President, to comment on the bill. Uh, all right, we are back in the bill in chief. Senator Stone. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, I have some strong concerns about the high-speed rail reporting, modifying the reporting requirement for the high-speed rail project to only require a project update report every other year rather than twice a year. Uh, lessons oversight and transparency of one of the largest public works projects in the state of California. Additionally, reporting requirements related to staff management and certification that contract awards are within budgeted funding and completion deadlines are repealed. Considering the problems with the Bay Bridge project, it's apparent that these large infrastructure projects need more oversight and not less. Additionally, the High Speed Rail Authority has not always been forthcoming with information upon request, so lessening the statutory reporting requirements will further reduce this transparency. Thank you, Madam President. Senator Vidak. Madam President and members, I also rise in opposition to AB 95 since the bill removes transparency and accountability for the High-Speed Rail Authority. This budget trailer bill is gutting oversight and accountability requirements that were inserted when this, legislator committed, this legislature committed itself to funding high-speed rail back in 2012. While I'm not a fan of high-speed rail, I believe that we owe it to the people that we uphold oversight and accountability of a project that is uprooting families, businesses, farms in my district, and coming soon to a district near you. This legislature is supposed to strive for more oversight, not limit it. I ask for your no vote. Thank you, Senator Vidak. Any further debate or discussion on this item? Seeing and hearing none, Senator Leno, you may close. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, just to comment with regard to some of the concerns that were expressed, the board of the project, and I recognize clearly that we have differences of opinion with regard to the project of high-speed rail itself, but it meets monthly, and at each of its monthly meetings in a public setting, there is a review of all of their expenditures, their hirings, their firings, complete updates of the project. This happens on a monthly basis. So there's no lack of transparency. We're making this change just for efficiency to a less onerous reporting. But should we find in the coming year that there is any problem whatsoever, we certainly will be reviewing it again through the budget process, and we can make changes at that time. We could even make changes within six months if we find there is any problem. But all of the information in these reports will be in a public setting reviewed on a monthly basis at their board meetings. I ask for your eye vote. All debate having ceased, Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Allen? Aye. Anderson? Bates? Bell? Berryhill? Block? Aye. Canella? De Leon? Aye. Fuller? No. Gaines? No. Galgioni? Gl Aye. Glazer? Aye. Hall? Aye. Hancock? Aye. Hernandez? I Hertzberg, I Hill, I Wesso, I Huff, No Jackson, I Lada, I Leno, I Leva, I Lou, I McGuire, I Mendoza, I Mitchell, I Monning, I Morlock, No Morell, No Wynn, No Nielsen, No Pan, I Pavley, I Roth. I Runner, no Stone, no Vidak, no Wykowski, I Wolk, Wolk I. Please call the absent members. Anderson, Bates, no Bell, I Berryhill, no Canella. Ayes 26, noes 12. The measure passes.